Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use OpenC NFT tutorial. So we'll be showing you how to create and sell your NFTs on OpenC. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So how do you actually use OpenC here? So the first thing we need to do is we need to first access their website, which is going to be OpenC.io. Now, once in their website, you should be able to see this UI here, which in this case, you should be able to see different NFTs that are currently for sale. So these NFTs can range from photos to digital art. So in this case, how do we create our account? So for us to create our OpenC account here, we first have to have our MetaMask account. Now for you to create your uh, MetaMask account, what you need to do is you need to install the extension itself. So how do we install that? So for you to install the MetaMask application or the extension, at the top right of your screen, go ahead and click on the puzzle or extension icon. And from here, you need to click on manage extensions. Now from here, you need to go to the option that says Chrome Web Store. Now, by the way, I'm currently using Google Chrome here, but in this case, the steps might vary depending on the uh, browser that you're currently using. But in this case, I'm currently using Google Chrome here. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to search for MetaMask. So go ahead and type in MetaMask here and search for it, and you should be able to see it here. Now in this case, go ahead and click on it. And from here, just install it from your PC. Now, once installed at the top right of your screen, you should be able to see MetaMask. In this case, I would suggest you to make sure that you pin this at your browser so that you'll be able to easily see it. Now, in this case, once you click on it, you should be able to start creating your account. Now, in this case, once you've created your account here, we're now ready to start accessing OpenSea. Now, in OpenSea, what we need to do is we need to click on the login button at the top right of your screen. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to choose MetaMask here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to allow to connect our MetaMask account into OpenSea. Now in this case, just wait for it to load up. And from here, just click on the next button and make sure that you selected your account. And from here, click on connect to successfully connect your account. And in this case, it's going to start the connection process. And from here, just wait for it. Now you should be able to see different notifications here just wait for it to pop up properly and answer anything that you see. Now it's going to ask you for the signature request here. Go ahead and click on sign. And from here, let's just wait for the next pop up. Now it's going to welcome us to OpenC. So let's go ahead and click on accept and sign. And from here, we have successfully created our account in OpenC. Now there are going to be a few things that you can view here in OpenSea. Like for example, your current balance. So in this case, this is your wallet. So this is the contents of your MetaMask account or your MetaMask wallet for ETH or WETH. Now in this case, how do we actually start creating our NFT? Now for you to create your own, what you need to do is click on the create button or link at the top left of your screen. So in this case, let's go and click on create. And from here, you have two options. So you have a drop a collection or mint an NFT. Now, in this case, if you drop a collection, you are or you have the capability to launch your own NFT collection for others to mint. Now, if you choose to mint an NFT, you create a collection and mint NFTs directly to your wallet. Now, in this case, choose whatever option that you want to get here or do here. Now, in this case, if you want to learn more regarding these two options, you could go ahead and click on learn more and you should be able to read further on these two options. But in this case, we are going to drop a collection here. Let's go ahead and click on drop a collection. And from here, we need to fill out all the necessary details here. So that includes the logo image, the contract name here, and the token symbol. Now you also need to choose the blockchain here, which is in this case, it is Ethereum or Polygon. Now in this case, I'm going to use Ethereum here and fill out all the necessary details. In this case, let's go ahead and click on drag and drop a click to upload here. And from here, we need to choose our image. So I actually have an image here that I created through AI. So let's go ahead and click on this one, click on open. And from here, we now have our image. Now, this is just for example. So if you have your own artwork or your own work or your own photo, make sure to upload that. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and add our contract name here. So let's just say funny cat and my name and we also have the token symbol here so let's go ahead and click on continue 
Now, from here, it's going to say, go to your wallet to finish deploying your contract, and you will be asked to pay gas fees and sign in order to play your contract in the blockchain. Now, in this case, you need the estimated amount here for you to release your NFT here, which includes around 0.02. So that's the gas fee. So the total here is going to be 0.029. ETH. So that's around $94 for you to actually release your NFT. Now, if you want to proceed, just click on the confirm option here. Now, in this case, if you want to try the other option here, which is in this case, mint an NFT, you could go ahead and click on it and you just need to fill out all the necessary details here, which includes creating an NFT. So let's go ahead and upload our image here. Again, I'm going to use the same image here. So let's go ahead and select it into our nft and from here we also have the option to create a collection or uh, basically add this to a collection now in this case again you'll be able to uh, see the previous window here which in this case you'll be able to create your own nft or collection nft collection here now you also have the option to create or add your name here so let's just let me just re-add my image here so let's just choose uh this one click on open and we also have the option to add a supply. So the supply is the amount of MNT for this specific uh, image here. So maybe I want to say this is just going to be one. And we also have the option to add description here. Now, you also have the external link here, but I'm going to keep this as is. And you have the option to add trades. So like, for example, trade subscribe attributes of your item. So they appear as filters inside your collection page and are more listed out inside your item page. Now, in this case, once you fill out all the details here, just click on the create button and you'll be able to publish your own nft here now in this case once you've done that you have just successfully uh release your own nft but again there are going to be uh, some gas fees that you need to pay so make sure that you fill out or make sure that you have the right amount for you to actually publish your own nft now in this case uh, how do you actually utilize the other functionalities that OpenSea has in here? Now, to the top right, you should be able to see your profile here. So you have the profile, you watch list, deals, studio, which is the previous window that we saw before, OpenSea Pro, settings, and language. And you also have the option here to change your current mode. So you have night mode here, and you also have the learn, help center, and even log out. Now, in this case, inside OpenSea here, you could even browse different NFTs that you want to maybe buy. So currently, uh, there are going to be a lot of things that you could do here. As you can see, there's even artwork or very interesting NFT here that you could see. But in this case, that's how you actually start using OpenSea here online to create and sell your own NFTs. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.